very, very good action film. I can't say great. I can't call it a classic. I can say a really, really, really good action film and a great start to what has already become an amazing franchise. So just got done watching John Wick numero uno again, man. And look, man, so look, it's the film that started it all, man. You know, this was the film that said to people that just keep the camera still, do it real, and the audiences are going to come. Forget that born identity shake them and everything, the audiences will come. You see, watching this again, because you know, when I do this rewatches, I think the main thing for me to do rather than just do a rehash is, did the film get better or worse? I think I feel about the scene that I do with this film, and I now know why I like part two so much. Because so, that's why I can't wish to, to watch part two again, because I just know how things were ramped up. Because even watching this, I was like, yeah, part two is, is just better in almost every way. Part two is just better in every way. But still, I think what was good about this was it was a very well contained story. Um, and what I liked about it was the way they built up John Wick. I, don't, I think his name is. Um, her, the main Russian villain, Michael, I think it's Michael Nickfist, you know, who's basically the, the father of the guy from Game of Thrones. I what's it called? Um, what was his name? Um, Reek, Reek from Game of Thrones. That's a, he, he had a really good um, performance. The Russian crime boss, he was so, so good. Just how he played that role because he sort of played it. It was a fine line between being serious and being a bit quirky and comedic as well. So he just gave the crime boss what's could be a very two-dimensional character, give him a lot of dimensions, man. But William Dafoe, he was good. He was quality as well. But look, man, Keanu Reeves, man. I mean, I think that when, if you're a fan of The Matrix, this is almost like the spiritual continuation of The Matrix, just in terms of like, because here's the thing about Keanu. Keanu Reeves is a bad actor. He's crap. He's a really bad actor. But the thing about it is, unlike, let's say, a Ben Affleck, a Taylor Kitsch, or so forth, because he is so good at action choreography, we are like, it's cool. Like, this is his calling. Like, just don't put him in a drama film, but in an action film like this, where it's not really about his acting and so forth, this is almost like the silent killer who comes for you. It works well. And But for me, just what struck, because you have to think about this, before The Matrix won, he knew no martial arts. Nothing. Him, Lawrence Fishburne, Carlos, they knew no martial arts. And when you just look at what he did in Matrix 1, Matrix 2, Matrix 3, and in this, just in terms of learning very complicated action choreography is intense. I mean, guys, just watch the Chateau fights and Reloaded. How Ken Reeves was able to pull it off knowing zero martial arts to begin with, I just think it's outstanding. And just when you just look at how he's executing these moves and how well he's executing these moves, this is his calling. Hence why he made that film... Man of Tai Chi, the one that he directed. But look, but I just think that, you know, what's, I think what makes this film work so well is the, it's the action, it's, it's how good the action is. You know, obviously the story is decent, it's a simple story, guy kills his dog, he gets physical, he kills his dog, he now gets brought back and it's like the boogeyman coming after everyone. But it's just how low key it is, just and how good the choreography, the camera work, the directing, the execution and just almost like the storyline of the action scene because everything just works well and just everything just really hits on on point. But even but after I watched it, I was like, okay, no, 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 this is a great start. It's a great beginning. But I feel that it can really go places and it can really go to the to the next level, which is what happened in um in the in the in the next part, man. But um yeah, man, it was yeah, so so I think you know I do I do feel the same about this stuff. But I, see, I've got to be honest with you. I've got to be honest with you. Is even watching it the first time and watching it again, I was like, okay, this is a good tipping point. Maybe that's what makes this part one so good because for me, I felt I wanted more, and it didn't really maybe do enough action to really to really go places. But this is just the beginning, because if you just um, again forgive the pun, blow your load. <laughs> too early and so forth and what's the point because you have to save something for okay don't worry we've got a part two okay we've got a part three and now you have part four so i think when you watch you're like man just looking like at the um the nightclub scene which i thought was filmed beautifully well i mean the 
cinematography in the nightclub scene and just how well the action done in that nightclub scene is amazing. But when you just look at the nightclub scene, the first scene when the guys first come for him, you're just given a hint as what this guy can do. And I think as first guys like, man, this is this guy is really, really good. Just imagine how good this guy truly is. But and which is why after you watch see so like, man, this is just remember, this is just him coming out of retirement to begin with. So he's not even this is not him in his final form. <laughs> this is not even him even close to his final form. And look at just how deadly he is already, man. So yeah, man, I just think look, overall it's it's it was what the action movie genre needed because I just think before John Wick and obviously after the Matrix films, all you had was just a bunch of shaky cam, really, really hammy choreography, crazy amounts of cuts. You didn't really know what was happening and really you're just watching something that was just um, foolish. But why this was so refreshing and this was so... You see, I don't think revolutionary is the right one because Matrix did it first. And obviously the Hong Kong movie movies as well. Like if you could look at like Hard Boiled and the Jackie Chan films. But I feel why this was refreshing was you had Chad Star, Sahelski and David Leach were like, you know what, we're going to bring what we've we learned in the Matrix, what the Wachowskis brought to the world in the Matrix. And we're going to try and say, no, 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 no. There's a reason why people like that stuff. And the only way that that stuff works is if the actor knows how to learn those freaking moves, which is what your boy Ken Reeves was able to do. So yeah, man, um, very, very good action film. I can't say great. I can't call it a classic. but can say a really, really, really good action film and a great start to what has already become an amazing franchise. And tomorrow, guys, join week two.